Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back. It's Eve4 in 1473, the 1.30 Emperor DLC. And we are manipulating a little bit. We're trying to stop the Iberian in wedding and also to start the Burgundian succession. Man, that was a mouthful to say. Now, we are waiting, of course, until we can annex Brittany to be able to attack England because we get free claims over the entirety of their bloody country, which is amazing. But it's going to be a little tricky. We just need to try and figure out consolidating a power base right now. I mean, we already have a power base. We're thinking about what kind of peace deal we want. If I take the two provinces that I want, one papal state and three from Aragon, um, I do still get a relatively sizable coalition, one of which Austria would actually join. Now, I don't want that. No surprise there. So I need to wait at least another year for the AE from Austria to go right down. Additionally, I need to wait for the Castile to age up a little bit. And I need to make sure they do this before they peace out with Aragon, because they might take a couple of these. I'm very much hoping that we will start to see the Begonian Succession Crisis fire. It is six years from last year. It's a 50% chance for it to a fire by that point. Um, ow, my legitimacy. What the hell? I'll just lose a stab. I'll just lose a stab. Screw it. Yes, yes, yes. I know you want to peace out, but I don't want to give it to you. So shush. I could also just take this and then... Oh, actually, it's 20, isn't it? Oh. Up. Oh, uh. oh, wait. But I could also just take a big pile of money from the Papal State, too. And this would be nice. I could also get Prestige, which is always good. Ha! Ah, I can make them release. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna make them release uh, in the rivalry with Savoy. So this will end that one, and no coalitions there. Then we can just take everything as we like. I'm just going to make 100% sure that if I add that, it's 18. No, if I add this, it's actually only 14 AE. Oh, because in separate piecing, I'm not getting the, the reduction of um, AE, aren't I? So I need to wait. I need to do the piece deal all in one. That's fine. It's because I didn't call them in as separate partners, didn't I? They're not a co-belligerent in this war. You stupid son of a biscuit, Aldra. What is your problem? I should have called them in as co-belligerents. I'd only had to have fought two more people. Ah, oh, you dum-dum. You absolute dum-dum. Okay, then let's just... um. Yeah, that's why it's costing me so much. That is a fair amount of AE. 39. It's too much to handle. Let's just piece the Papal States out in a little bit. I do have call for peace, but again, I want to wait until... I want to wait. Oh, Lollard Heller to heretics, though. Holy crap. Land technology useless. I'll lose the prestige. Get a new idea as well. Ah, oh, mercenary manpower, 25 cent. Money's not only when it comes to recruiting mercenaries, the other bottleneck is having mercenary companies who actually wish to serve with us. Anything that's extra manpower modifier. So just two more of those, and I get the admin tech cost and extra governing capacity, which I desperately need. It's also going to mean I can start to bull through the next couple of techs to get exploration so I can start to colonize, which I think will be very useful. Um, I do need tech 7 Diplo to be able to get that, of course. So I will need to go Diplo focus quite heavily. Okay. They're almost age 15. We definitely would be running a bit of a risk. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's get these boys home. Do -do -do. Come on, Burgundy. Give me that succession. I want it. See, you got your Charles. I know you got it. Oh, come on. I'm really scared. And I know it's like a mass, like a minus 75% chance or something for him to have an heir. But my goodness, do I very much wish for him to give me what I want. I also need to be looking at annexing a vassal or two soon. 77, so I should be improving relations with them as well to get ready to annex Brittany quite quickly. That's unfortunately... I don't actually own it, and I need to own it to be able to win that mission. Which is annoying, so I won't be able to attack England until about 81 or 82. But to be honest, it's not really a big problem, because I can't afford it anyway. 
I can't afford the AE. Okay, so it's now been three years. So again, the meantime to happen is uh, 100 is six years. And meantime to happen means that in that time, 50% of the time it will have fired. So currently we're approaching the majoritarily, like the majority likely mark. But let's hope. And my goodness, we have not got any chance of getting renaissance, have we? Hurry up. Come on. I might put a couple points in here to try and speed it along in Paris. There you go. That makes it a bit better. And we'll put another point in there so it's a 30 dev province. Should have done that a long time ago, actually. Right. Fernando is now 14. Once they're 15, I'll peace out. Just to massively increase the chances. Come on, Burgundy. Come on, Burgundy. I believe in you. Oh, hang on. Does the event... Does it stack the Burgundian succession? Is it increased by him having no heir? No, it's not. Just by being 1473. So the triggers of having no heir and it being 1457 or having an heir not aged 15, or rather not at least 15, and also age 43. So he is one year away from that trigger. So even if he got an heir, the trigger would still fire. So actually, I don't need to worry because the trigger is definitely going to fire because he doesn't have an heir who's 15. So unless he has an heir 15, he's not going to get it. So I actually don't need to worry. I don't have to keep checking. I'm going to, the beginning of the session will now definitely happen. It's just about when it happens. And there is a chance, extremely minuscule chance, but there is. Ah, oh, he's here. Okay, good. We can peace out now. Christ. All right, let's do that. No one really cares, so that's good. They are going to stop rivaling Morocco. They're going to give me war. Actually, I'm not going to do war reps. I only want this. Because I would like a relatively fast truce. I want your money, though. Thanks. Beautiful. So it's just three provinces and then that. Amazing. Uh, and straight away, I'm going to release uh, Catalonia. Boop. Incredible. Ah, oh, I should have, I should have tried to annex something first. Idiot. I should have tried to annex them first. Oh well. Okay. And as soon as we're able to annex in Armagnac, we'll be fine. So now we just kind of want to get ready for the fact that we are about to get a pretty substantial, sizable number of stuff. Let's get a big pile of soldiers as well. Might as well. Because our force limit is going to start rocking up soon. Right, money goes down. Printing machine goes brrrr. And there is a second. Can you imagine if he dies? There'd be a succession. Would be amazing. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, Armagnac, why are you so unchilled? Do I have to send you a gift? I do. Okay. Trying to annex people so that I can get rid of them. Ah, iron ore quality problems. Good thing I just recruited all my soldiers. Ooh, new cardinal. Lovely. Ah, I can't do anything with it. That's fine. And there we go. Or almost. Annex Armagnac. It's going to cost 2 to 2. It'll take 6 years. There's no way I'm going to be able to annex them anytime soon. Great. Boop. And boop. That's only going to be by 87 more, which is a bit annoying. 82 more. So I still need to kind of hurry this one along. Which is annoying, but there's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, the problem is the relations, the AE and the force vassalized us. I'm getting a lot of relations, so every it'll take another three or four years for the relation will be low enough. I might be able to give a big boy gift as well. Come on, Burgundy. You can do this. Death of a merchant. Take the money, thanks. I think I actually gave the majority of that money to Castile, weirdly. A bit annoying. I, I much would have preferred if I got it. Okay. And let's get some more taxation bonuses in the DNAs. 
amazing. And the truce of these guys is up in 12 years time. So in 12 years, we'll do a massive reconquest and conquer a big pile of them. And that'll be great. And just give a big pile of stuff to Naples, making Naples an insanely strong country. Oh, rebels. Oh, way. Uh, and now our ability, I don't really care about being able to get expansive claims. I don't really care about combat bonus of terrain. And I'm not colonizing, so I'm just going to get the flat Justified Wars 10 AE impact, because that's going to make a big difference to me. Pretty fundamentally. Help these guys, because they've got some weird Catholic zealots, despite the fact that they are zealots. So, not really sure what their beef is. And again, it's been three years now. Oh, baby. Come on. Hey. Ooh, our manpower is now back to a very decent level. We make so much now. We're still improving relations in Brittany. Burgundy still loves us. It's great. I don't have any missions from these guys. I might seize more land. Ooh, their loyalty is a little low, though. Let's summon a diet. Hello. Proposal of the clergy. Base tax in Nemours. Coimbra. All provinces in the various area owned by France? No. And the Gulf of Valencia have 15% or more trade power. Well, it's going to have to be that one, isn't it? Oop. Perfect. Okay, so in Nemours of at least seven. But I'll do that in a couple decades. Yeah, look how much crown land I'm starting to get. Forty-eight point seven five seven percent. Oh yes. And there we go in land. Call to induction of attack at some piece of our army. Our men must show uh, much of land. We have clear edge of battlefield. Twenty percent morale. This is the big one for France. Next one's tax modifier, but that's the big boy. Oh, twenty percent manpower and all that. That's so good. And we lost our general. It looks like Burgundy has finally pieced out with their war. Uh, about bloody time, frankly. I'm going to build a general. He's not very good. That's okay. Where can I put people that they can... Where can I put an army that they won't just explode? Right there. Good. Do -do -do -do. I think it would be good if we could maybe try and drill. At least somewhat. Oh, this is great. We're very powerful. We are having to sit still for a little bit. Which is annoying, because I, I would very much like to keep conquering things. But I'm waiting for the Burgundian inheritance here. Come on, baby. That. It's for me. Its generals are improving. And I suppose we should be improving relation with this vassal as well to try and get them to like us so we can start to annex them. Because it would be mighty nice if we could maybe get rid of having to deal with so much stuff. And it is now... Oh no, it's still only five years, so we're still on the way. We need new rivals. We have Mamluks and Ottomans. I'm not, I might do... Venice. Because there's some stuff we can take in Venice, actually. Wouldn't that be fun? Because Milan does actually have a fair amount. Leave. Yeah, it's got some claims, and they're pretty... 9, 913 devs. We could do a little bit there. Our heir died, and we've been replaced with a 324. That is fine by me. Henry. Fine. He's strong as well. Oh, are we going to get the begun in succession? Oh, he's a cinder. What are you going to do? We're going to get it soon, guys. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to sit patiently now. England has embraced the Renaissance. There we go. We will ourselves be able to embrace things pretty quickly because it is spreading pretty fast. England is now a great power and Aragorn has the Peasants' War. Oh my. That's not good for them. Don't like having to sit here. Petition for redress. Uh, boop. Oh no, I have to fight rebels. How will I survive? No. Whatever will I do? Get them, lads. 
The last jousting tournament. Are you serious? That is such a good event. 10 morale, 1 army tradition, and 5.5 prestige for basically nothing. What a good event. Oh. If that's not luck, I don't know what is. Lovely. And now we can just drill them all. Great. So now we're drilling plenty. Kind of just waiting for this to fire, which is a bit annoying. I am tempted to declare war. But I need to get... I don't have enough freaking diplomats. This is my problem. Yeah, I'm really... I, I think I just want to... Can we just kill them? Can we just go into Venice right now and murder the face? Can I just do that? Can I just attack them? I mean, they're attack. They're currently fighting Ferreira and the Papal States. I, I could do this. Let's just let's just kill them. Let's just go. We've got a lot of AE left. Uh, Bergamo. They're not going to call anyone in. Do, do, do. Let's go. Off you go, lads. Go do your own thing. You know what to do. I will send... 14,000 people to help. Oh, I don't have access, so... That's a shame. Uh, can I have access through New Savoy, please? I can. Oh, aren't you a doll? There we go. That should really be all we need, considering the majority of the armies are all in Germany. It's going to be fine. Four payments. I know they trust mercenary maintenance reduction. One day I will actually hire a mercenary. There's a bloody idea. I haven't yet. I've got to do so, but... I just I have so much manpower, so right now I don't need it. Ooh, denied sumptuary restrictions is expired. Ooh. Ow. We, we need to try and get rid of French strong duchies, I think. But the thing is, it is plus three diplomatic relations, which is actually insanely good. It's just... I'm going to try and keep that, actually. I think I wouldn't mind getting rid of increased levies, though. Decline, hey, decline power of nobility. Literally the answer to what I just said. I was just complaining about, so perfect. Let's get stuff. Oh. They just had Mary. They just had an heir. What does that mean? Is that good? Is is that good? Yeah, they've had Marie. I'm confused. That that happens normally, doesn't it? Yeah, I think. Yes, it does. <gasps> it's fired. Okay. If limit is to find air, and she ooh, she is not the correct one. They've just picked the the basic add twenty legitimacy one. It's not the right. It's not the right things. That's weird. Ruler of Burgundy dies. It should trigger almost immediately, and that will give the Burgundian succession. Right? Yes. Maybe. I believe so. It doesn't matter because even if it doesn't, they have an heir, but then the wrong age, so it should be fine. I hope. Oh, I'm pretty sure that should. Yeah, set flag Mary is heir. Death heir is triggered only once. Hidden effect, bring a session start. Man, that is confusing. Random country, largest nation with a marriage to Burgundy. Okay. Come on, baby. You can do... Wait, what? Now it's a 4 by 3 Eh? Okay. He has Mary, but it's... Okay, so that's the, the event. They picked the first option. Uh, block disinherit, yes. Define heir. Yeah, so it's set the birth date back. Uh-oh. Does that mean that the incident can't fire? What? This time shall be remembered. Dip relations into Bannock's cost. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure that means he should die. And it should be like dubious about whether or not 
we get it and then it starts the succession crisis. I believe that's normal. I just haven't really looked. Yeah, that's cool. The 453. She's become a 453 because she was what's what she was before. Death of air, major country event is triggered once. Immediate. No. Ruler Burgundy dies. Hmm. Okay. I think it should still fire. So I don't think we have a problem. I like that we finished the administrative ideas. Boom. This gives us admin tech cost and governing capacity. Beautiful. Can't wait until we can finish this. So yes, he should basically die within a couple years now. Regional nobility are challenging me. You what? Crush him, lads. How dare you. Mess him up. It's so annoying that it does not contain a clear trigger. Like, that is just that is so frustrating that it does not s very precisely specify how much, like, when it triggers. But that should mean that we do indeed get that. Education for the poor. Yes. Okay, so that should happen. It should happen. It, I, made, I made a whole video about this, and I'm still not even 100% sure. So, apologies for my stupidity. I'm just going to go make 100% sure that it will fire in between the episodes. So, make sure to leave a like and a comment in the video, guys. Hope to see you in the next episode. I was Azure, and continue to be, and this has been some E4. See you next time. Bye-bye.